Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics. In this DCS video, I'll be discussing the new fusing options coming to several DCS aircraft like the Viper, the F-18C, and the A-10C-2. The new fusing option is a live select specific nose and tail fuses for general purpose bombs, laser guided bombs, INS GPS guided bombs, and canister munitions. The new feature also allows you to set fuse parameters. This can be done from either the mission editor the rearming refueling window, and later the DTC payload editor in the mission planner for both single player and multiplayer. Let's get started. All right, so for this first example, let's take a look at it in an S16. So I'm gonna select the S16 here on the ramp. Obviously we're here in the mission editor in the airplane group, and along the bottom tabs, I'm gonna select the payload tab. You have selected payloads here at the top, which consist of uh, GB38 JDAMs on seven and three. And the options for these are gonna be pretty similar between the JDAMs as well as the Mark 80 series. In this case, let's go ahead and do uh, station three. And you'll notice these gold little triangles up in the corner. And if we actually click on those, we can bring up the fusing options. So at the top, we have our nose fuse. It defaults to M904E4, which is the fuse we've had in DCS like forever, but we can pull that down. We also have options for a DSU-33, which is an airburst fuse, and then we have different plugs. So for the uh, M904, we have an army delay as well as a function delay. The army delay just indicates how long it will take for that weapon to arm up once it's released from the jet, whereas the function delay uh, sets the time that the weapon will detonate after the fuse is initiated. If you go to the DSU-33, we can actually set the airburst mean altitude in feet, in this case, 20 feet. And with plugs, we have options for long conical, short conical, and the MXU-735. So in this little scenario, I'm gonna do a uh, penetrator attack, say like a, a hardened aircraft bunker. So let's do a long conical on the nose. And then below that, now we have our tail fuse. Options are, the uh, again, the old 905, the FME-139, which is an electro electromechanical fuse, uh, certainly step up from the old 904 and 905s. Below that is the FME-143, and this is generally a tail fuse that is designed for penetrator type weapons. Below that is the FME-152, which is the Joint Programmable Fuse, or JPF. And the really cool thing about the JPF is that unlike all the other fuses, it allows you to set the fuse properties while in a cockpit, whereas all the other ones, you have to do it before you get wheels up. And of course, then at the bottom, we have the plugged with the different plug options. In this case, again, we're gonna do a penetrator attack. So let's go to a 143. Again, we have army delay and function delay. Army delay, I'll keep it uh, 5.5. And the function delay I want it to penetrate, let's go to 0 0.12. And of course, like we talked about in a previous video, we have options for USAF or USN skins. Once we're happy with that, we go ahead and hit OK. And you can see here, now we have that long conical uh, nose. Uh, let's take a look at a GBU now, say a GB12. So again, we'll go ahead and click on that uh, gold triangle. Now, of course, with laser guided bombs, the nose section is taken up by the laser seekers. So there's only going to be tail fuse options. Uh, in this case, we have a 905, a 139, a 143, and a 152. Let's do a JPF. So go to 152 with arm delay four and a function delay. So instantaneous, of course, would be zero. But unique to laser guided bombs, here, of course, we have the laser seeker code. And of course, you wanna make sure that this code is gonna match the designation code if you're self-designating. And as always, we have the options for the skins. Hit okay. Okay, now, in addition to setting up your fuses here in the mission editor, we can also do so uh, in the game through the rearming and refueling window. And let's take a look at that now. Now, to bring up the rearming and refueling window, all you have to do is press left alt and apostrophe at the same time. Uh, in this case, we have uh, CBU 87s on both 7 and 3. We're going to go ahead and hit the gold triangle. So you see uh, CBU 87 on 7, 
Uh, notice views cannot be adjusted. It's going to, in this case, be the FSU 39. But here, what we can adjust is the airburst delay, uh, the minimum time in seconds that the uh, fuse can initiate the opening of the canister, the airburst altitude uh, in feet mean. In this case, let's do 2,200 feet. And then spin rate, how fast the CV is going to spin to release. And as you might imagine, the greater the altitude and the higher the spin rate, the greater the coverage is going to be of the submunitions, but the density of the submunitions hitting something is going to be a lot less dense. So it's made of compromise there. So folks, that's kind of an overview of where we're going with the new view system, but it's certainly not done. Uh, things we're still working on are new uh, weapon effects, particularly the airburst effect. Uh, also, we have to recalculate damage effect for uh, different uh, systems based on airburst. And of course, we continue working on the brand new fragmentation model for all types of weapons. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Thanks.